What's going on there YouTube? It's Rujenki here and in today's videos we're going to be talking about my favorite tech of 2014. We got a lot to cover so let's go do this. Number one on my list here guys is the Moto 360 and I think you can all see why. This device is one beast and an awesome accessory with great style. This device is super nice and let me show you some of my favorite features in here. I do use this thing every day and just to get my weather instantly, a bunch of notification, text messages, scores on football games and more. Absolutely love it. One of the new things I just recently realized was how to use it to take pictures or selfies, which is pretty cool. Let me show you that really quickly. So here you go, this is my Nexus right here. And when that comes up, my watch has this on it now. See the little circle? All you gotta do to take a picture with your camera, connected phone, boom, one, two, three. Boom, selfie, wicked, wicked cool. Even displays it on the watch. Yes, yeah, pretty sweet. So the Moto 360 is definitely going to be my favorite Android Wear device this year and really my, my real favorite device. It's also got a lot of new features now that Lollipop has been added. Um, and a nice and better functionality for sure. So definitely if you're looking for some fun new Android device this would be my top device right here for 2014. Style, sleek and design it's one beautiful device. Number two is definitely got to be the Nexus 6. You just saw that in my little shot here with the camera but this device is a beast. I am partial to it because it does contain that unlocked bootloader um, and all those fun features that you can do on the device. There you can actually see an email notification coming up on my watch, which again is why I love it. Um, I don't have to take this thing out of my pocket. But, um, very, very nice device. It does have dual front facing speakers and lollipop, along with all those other goodies you've seen on a Nexus. And I just gotta say, I absolutely love this device. Very primo device. You are gonna have to put a lot out of pocket to get it, but if you can, definitely pick it up. I would give a second runner up, honestly, to this uh, Motorola Droid Turbo I have right here, which is again, a super, super good device. Uh, if you don't like the bigger size of the Nexus 6, the Droid Turbo would be my optimal choice right there. And you can see it even has voice commands that activate when you say Droid Turbo. So definitely runner up would be the Droid Turbo, but for me, the king of the crop right here is the Nexus 6. This has gotta be my favorite device this year. Again, another reason I love it is because it works on Verizon, which is my carrier and I absolutely love that we have a Nexus finally on Verizon again. Amen to that and hopefully we'll keep seeing more of that trend. So you might think, is the Nexus 6 a little bit too big? Well, let's put it this way, I guess. Boom. My Almost my whole hand is hidden behind this device. Yes, it is a little bit massive. Can you still get your pinky underneath it? Of course you can. Um, can you navigate the whole thing? Not really. It's really best as a two-handed phone. You can see right there is the best way to able to handle it. But uh, if you really want a nice looking Nexus, definitely get that D-brand skin. This thing looks amazing with this nice back skin cover on it. Device number three is the Nexus 9. Now I've heard a lot of naysayers on this device, but I actually really do like it. Biggest complaint that I'm hearing is that it doesn't have the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, it actually is running a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, which, you know what, I actually like this aspect ratio on this tablet. It's, it's new, it's different. I've always had the, you know, widescreen aspect ratio, but I really like it on here. It just gives the icons good placement and everything like that. The biggest downside you're going to see with it is going to be in YouTube. Here you go, we'll show you this video real quick. Guys, here today. I've got a fun little case so you just so you can see, case, because you're not at that 16 by 9 journal. aspect ratio, you have blacked out bars. That's the biggest complaint most people are having. You can see though the sound on this is actually really, really good because it does have the dual front facing speakers. Um, so a lot of nice uh, features there. As you can see this aspect ratio of 3 to 4 when this device is up and down in the horizontal position looks really 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 good. And of course one of the best features of any Nexus device is that one right there. 
system update. Yes, this thing always will be updated to the latest Android operating system, at least until the hardware is dead. For many years, you'll be getting the latest update right there. You can see Android 5.0.1 Lollipop. So there you go. That's why this Nexus is big in my book. Well guys, for number four on my list, we're gonna have to move over to applications. This right here is probably one of my absolute favorite applications. I have to install this on every device, and it is right there, ES File Explorer. Why would you ask my, I like ES File Explorer? ES File Explorer is just the way you get in and you modify anything on your phone when it comes down to it. You wanna push things, change permissions, do all kinds of copy paste things. This is how you actually tinker in your phone. You can use ADB, but this makes it super simple. So this is the file browser. It also has a lot of awesome features in here that most people don't really even realize. Um, and we'll go through those really quick. So you have your feet, your different things here. You can also add your network. So if you wanna hook this thing up to your FTP server, you wanna hook it up to your um, network at your house, your cloud, any of these things you can easily hook up and be able to access those from your device, which is really, really nice. Again, besides that, you got to get into tools. Again, this is where the magic happens. If you have root access on your device, you can go right there and turn it on and, and mount everything as read write, and then you can copy paste whatever you like to your heart's little heart's content. So love that feature. Along with that, you do have a built-in music player. You have an SD card analyzer you can run. You can see right here, it checks out things on there and shows you what's what, which is really, really nice. You can also set up um, to force install things through here for applications, which is really cool. And um, you can download this task manager if you want. It's an extra feature, but it does launch from here. And then you have a download manager. Shows you all your downloads. These are all PDFs for the most part. And so on. So this thing is very full of features, and it's basically the first application I download on my device. So I'm a little excited to see when this thing gets an Android 5.0 Lollipop update to match that theme, how this is going to look, or if they're actually going to leave it just how it is. So I'm a little curious on that. We're going to talk here about ROMs. This is two different devices I have here. Here's an Ultra on the left and an S4 on the right. But we're not talking about devices so much. What we're talking about is the ROM. So on the left here we have CM11, which is an amazing ROM, great development. Absolutely love it. Everybody's heard of Saijin Mod, right? Everybody. One of the features that I love about ROMs now that are happening today's day is OTA updates. Yep, right there you can see the ROM notifies you there's an update to the ROM. Development has happened on it and it'll help you install, download and install the new update, which is amazing. Just like OTA updates from the carriers, we have that in ROMs. So definitely love that feature as just insane awesome feature on that same note this is probably one of my all-time favorite roms is hyperdrive hyperdrive is amazing it's full i mean it's packed full of customization you can do to your device this is my galaxy s4 and also hyperdrive boom right there new rom version available love it go ahead click on it it'll download the new rom version see ota rom update and you'll be rocking and rolling on the newest builds. So when it comes to the ROMs that are on the market right now, Saijimod, Hyperdrive, if you have an HTC One M8, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out a Viper ROM. It's all along the same lines of amazing customization and great development. There you go, guys. That's gonna be it for me on number five. So there you go, fellow junkies. That is all the Android tech from 2014 that I really love. I'll put all the links in the video description down below. Hopefully you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more like it. I'm gonna be doing a lot more fun Android stuff here in 2015. I'm really excited about that coming up real soon. And please subscribe, we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.